I am obsessed with the keyword research tool from vidIQ. I recently switched from TubeBuddy, uh, an optim video optimization software, to vidIQ, and I've been playing with this keyword research tool that I can't wait to show you because it's absolutely a no-brainer for anybody that already has a well-working channel or is just starting a new channel. When you first log into vidIQ, you're gonna see this incredible dashboard. It's so clean and bright and white space and easy to use. So it's incredibly user-friendly even for beginners. You don't have to be a super geek with these analytics like you do on some of these other platforms. So I love the dashboard. I'm gonna break this all down for you. I'm gonna show you how to use the keyword tool today to find the best opportunity for keyword videos based on your channel specifically, not just generic tools. Now in the description below, I do have a link to vidIQ. I do pay for the tool myself. I also have an affiliate relationship with vidIQ, which basically means if you take a free trial using my link, then you sign up for vidIQ, I also benefit. Now let's get into this incredible tool. When you first log in on the left-hand side, you're gonna see your channel stats. I absolutely love this. I'm not gonna break down each feature. We're gonna to focus today specifically on the keyword opportunities. But I do wanna just quickly show you, right here you can get to AI title recommendations, you can view competitors, and you can select competitors that are more like your channel. We'll get into all of that in another video. Up here, we've got a really cool feature called Daily Ideas. We've got our keyword research that we're gonna dive into today. We've got our competitors, subscribers, SEO, and of course, you've got your upgrade version. Also, there's a really cool Chrome extension. You're able to um, get video stats right from the extension, you're able to use uh, vidIQ right from your YouTube dashboard, or you can log into vidIQ like I'm doing right now and access everything. I really love this too on the bottom left. It knows what day of the week it is. So today is Friday and it's telling me the best time to post your video today is between 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. So that's what I'm going to do. So you can set your content schedule or your publishing schedule anyway, based on the best times to, uh, to post for that day. Now, right here, we've got something in the dashboard called keyword opportunities. We can access our keyword research tool from the dashboard, or we can go up here to keywords and we can do the same. Now, here is one of the things that I absolutely love uh, about uh, vidIQ. Now, I'm an SEO girl. I, I blog and I love to rank on Google. YouTube, my since I've had my biz, uh, businesses, real estate, affiliate marketing, blogging, coaching, I've had YouTube channels. And I've done lots of keyword research using keyword research tools that are just general. They cover everybody's website. They just cover what people are searching. What vidIQ does differently is it actually takes your channel, if you've already got an existing channel, and it takes a look at what terms people are typing in to YouTube that are actually bringing traffic to your YouTube channel. And then it says, these are the top search terms for your channel. So you can get a quick idea, and I can dive in to view all search terms if I wanna look at more of them, but I can see what vidIQ is using to gather these keyword opportunities. And it's basically showing that I am a digital marketer and I cover a lot of software. I cover best practices for the software that I actually use, reviews, you know, why I switched from this one to this one, how to use AI content, et cetera, et cetera. So it's basically saying, here's the top ter terms for your channel. Now over here, what we get is our top keyword opportunities. So these are going to be keywords that they're thinking because of the topical authority we already have on our YouTube channel, the search terms that are already bringing in views to our YouTube channel, these are our top keyword opportunities. So let's click on view all keyword opportunities. Now in a minute, I'm gonna show you if, you if you don't have a lot of content on your channel yet, so vidIQ doesn't know what you're about, I'm gonna show you how to use the keyword research tool um, besides the suggestion. So right now we're using the top keyword opportunities and right here we have top search terms for your channel. So these are the ones that we already saw that are already bringing in traffic, but these are our opportunities. So this is where we want to go when we want to create new videos. Okay. Now here's how the scoring system works. VidIQ takes the total search volume. So this is the average number of times people search for that exact phrase on YouTube every month. So there's obviously gonna be thousands and thousands of search terms around that phrase. But these, this is just based on that exact um, keyword phrase. And then here, what is the competition? 
So the competition score is a measure of how many videos you're competing with for that term. So especially when you're new, the lower the competition, the better. So VidIQ is taking the search volume and the, and the competition levels, and it's creating a scoring system for you based on those two metrics to show you how, um, how big of an opportunity that particular keyword is. So you can sort these by highest to lowest. Um, I kind of like to leave them in this order because I'm, I'm getting the most relevant. If I go, if I change this to overall being the highest to lowest, sometimes actually it looks great right now. Sometimes it kind of brings in some keywords that are really personalized or custom or aren't as relevant. So you can play with that. But what I just did is by clicking overall first, I can see the highest opportunity first and then go down. So what I want to be doing when I'm creating YouTube videos, I want to be creating videos that are in this green category. So don't worry about the numbers. Just look for the green colors. This is why I love how user friendly this is. Those green colors are saying, hey, based on the search volume and competition, this is a this is a video you should make. OK, so Uber suggests keyword research. Now I'm going to expand on that title, right? I'm going to, I'm going to get some ideas around that. Let's take the second one here as an example, content marketing. Well, I'm not just going to go make a YouTube video. That's just titled content marketing. I, I really want to cater to a specific audience or to a specific element of content marketing. So what I can do now is I can say, you know what, this is a great uh, topic for me. Let me drill down on that a little bit more. So click on content marketing. Now you're going to get to some ideas, keywords that are related to your search keyword or phrase. And down here we have keywords that contain your search keyword or phrase in any order. Let's go ahead and look at that one. We have 300 matching terms. So here we go. Content marketing strategy, content marketing course. Those would be different videos. What is content marketing? Now that one would be similar to either one of those. Okay. So let's keep going. Ah, here we go. SEM rush content marketing review. I just got very excited about that one because SEM rush is a tool that I use and that is a great idea of a video for me to make. So I could actually create a series of content marketing videos based on these suggestions. Therefore helping YouTube and Google see that I am an authority on content marketing because I'm going to make a series of videos related to content marketing using these content marketing suggestions. Okay. Here's another one, email content marketing. I think that's what that's supposed to say. So I would go, okay, let me go take a look at, um, let me drill down on that keyword, email content marketing and cover that in a topic new content marketing strategies. These could be brand new things for 2022 or out of the box ideas or things that I just saw somebody else doing that I want to feature. Okay. So you just keep scrolling down until you find content, until you find videos that would make sense. Niche content marketing, you know, that's another one that could be very specific. Each one of these you can click on and drill down further into so then you're finding content writing in a digital marketing niche. Ooh, that's a good one. The only thing I don't like about that one is it's orange, which means I always look at orange as caution, right? Green is go, orange is caution, red is stop. So to me, this wouldn't be one of the first ones I'm going to make, but it would be one I would make later in the series. When I'm first creating, I'm going to really stick with those green uh, videos as, as much as possible. Now, here's another great idea. I love that vidIQ has included questions in their tool. As a longtime blogger and affiliate marketer who focuses on ranking on Google, specifically creating SEO content, I know that questions, when done well, can generate a lot of traffic for a couple reasons. Um, if I'm doing a written blog, I could title my blog by the question and then answer it. Or I could use questions in my H2s, my subheadings in my blog. I also could use questions in my frequently asked questions at the bottom of the blog with the goal of ranking in the people also ask section on Google. But for video, we can literally just 
do that question. What is content marketing? And then maybe, in fact, let's go take a look here. What is content marketing? Okay, so you can take a look and see what is content marketing. They're not even adding any other parameters or anything to their question. They're just saying, what is content marketing? But I'm more likely to do something like this. What is content marketing in 2022? And then add something else that lets them know what it is that you're, um, that you're going to get. It could be, what is content marketing? A beginner's guide. What is con content marketing? A comprehensive look at digital strategies for 2022. Of course, it needs to fit in that heading, but there's an example. Now here you can see I'm actually on YouTube and YouTube is now giving me, I mean, vidIQ is giving me this score right within the platform, which is really cool. And if I wanted to, I could create an email alert for that keyword. So that way, anytime, for example, content marketing, let's just say we already decided we're making a series of content marketing videos. I'm going to do one a month for 12 months, something related to content mar marketing, let's just say. I'll make other videos, but let's just say that's a series, okay? Well, what we can do is right here, never miss a trending video. We can create an email alert, and then what will happen is either every day, every two days, each week, each month, we will get any emails for that phrase content marketing. Um, if somebody makes a video related to content marketing. Now, I was kind of looking at this and I'm not exactly sure how these previews work. So this is one I got to play with, but I think it's a really cool feature. I'll have to test that out and expand on that a little bit. Then we can also see vidIQ also shows us the top channels for that search term. So we might want to go look at what kind of video they created, what was in that content, what might I want to include in mine. Then we can see the top related strategies to that phrase and other related queries. So we can really dive in to the keyword research and pick the best opportunities for us. This tool is absolutely amazing for beginners or advanced. And if you have a brand new channel, you're just going to come up here to keywords and you're just going to type in a search. Let's just say you want to, you're making a channel about the keto diet. So type in keto diet. You're not going to have a channel already to, to, to give you um, suggestions based on your channel. So it's going to use generalities. What are other people searching? You can go down here to matching terms or related keywords, view all the keywords. Now, again, taking a look at this one, what's the problem here that we're seeing right out, right out of the gate? Super competitive. There is not all that green like there was on mine for content marketing. So my content marketing niche isn't overly competitive on YouTube. However, the keto diet is very competitive on YouTube. So you're going to have to follow the same strategy here where you find as many of those green keywords as you possibly can and then go down to the yellows. And if you can't find anything in the green, play around with phrases like keto diet recipes. Okay. Um, you might be able to find more opportunities for something like that. Unfortunately, this is just going to be a competitive, um, a competitive keyword. There's no way around that. But I can see here keto desserts might be, might be a good one to start with. It's in the green. So maybe I go make a video on my 10 favorite keto desserts and I cover fat bombs and my keto cheesecake and homemade keto ice cream, something like that. So that's just an example if you don't already have phrases. You can look at the matching terms. And once again, don't skip on those questions. If we just go to keto and we go to questions, you might be able to find more opportunities in here. How to make keto diet tarts. There's one that's in the green. How to make a quick and easy keto pumpkin pie. Can carbs give you superpowers on the keto diet? How to make keto condensed milk. So these questions actually are going to be a better place to start than anything else. So I would start with the questions if I were doing a more competitive niche and just go at it that way. So check out that link below. Take the free trial for vidIQ. I'm Lori Ballin. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for following today.